Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn what to do when your iPhone 14 won't charge. One good reason to buy the iPhone 14 series is for the long battery life. Though, there will still come a time when you need to charge your iPhone 14. What do you do if your iPhone 14 charger is plugged in but not charging? More baffling problems include iPhone 14 not charging past 80, with cord or wirelessly. There are a number of reasons this can happen. The broken charging cable and charger, dead power source, dirty or damaged charging port, iOS software errors, internal damages due to overheating, dropping or wetting, and so on never mind. It's usually something you can handle by yourself. Go and attempt the six of the most common troubleshooting steps to fix an iPhone 14 that won't charge before you go to the Apple Store to inspect the hardware components. If one of them works, please let us know in the comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Unplug everything and try again. It's common that there is a temporary fault with your iPhone 14 charging system. This often leads to iPhone 14 not charging when plugged in, but the good news is that it can be fixed easily. Just unplug everything like the cable from your device and charger and the charger from the power supply. After one minute, connect the cable to your iPhone 14 and the charger. Then, attach the charger to the wall. Now, see if your iPhone 14 charges normally. Make sure iPhone 14 has a working power source. Next thing to check when your iPhone 14 won't charge when plugged in is the power. Is the charger inserted securely and firmly into the power outlet in the wall? Is the outlet controlled by a wall switch? Have you switched it on? Is the outlet working well to charge other devices or machines like refrigerator or fan? When your iPhone 14 doesn't charge, is it connected to a car or a computer that comes with a low power outage? Do the checking and test if your iPhone 14 starts charging after each one. Use Apple certified lightning cable and charger. What follows up to diagnose after confirming the power source is in good condition is the lightning cable and charger. Are they made by Apple or Apple authorized manufacturers? Are they in good condition with no cracks, corrosion or exposed wires on the surface? Are they able to charge other iOS devices? Are you trying to swap out the current one for another good charging cable or charger? After each trick, don't forget to test if you can charge iPhone 14 fully. Make sure the charging port is clean. We've seen 72% of users who meet the iPhone 14 not charging properly issues just because of a dirty charging port. It's jammed by dust, lint, dirt, grime or residue that comes from the pocket or the bag. If you suspect this cause, go through this procedure. 1. Turn off iPhone 14. 2. Put your iPhone 14 charging port under a bright light to see if there is any debris. 3. Use the can of compressed air or the bulb syringe to blow out the dust. 4. Use a cotton swab or toothpick to remove the stubborn grime or residue carefully. 5. Turn on your iPhone 14 and plug the device into a charger to see if it charges. Restart iPhone 14. Now, let's put our eyes on the software. It's likely that something goes wrong with your iPhone 14 software. To see if there's a software glitch, restart your iPhone 14. Press the volume down button and side button together. Swipe the power off slider to turn off the device. A few seconds later, keep pressing the side button to turn iPhone 14 back on. Charge iPhone 14 after it boots up and see if you see the green charging battery icon and the percentage is going up. Put iPhone 14 into recovery mode. If you've gotten this far and you still can't charge your iPhone 14 battery, there could be a problem with your phone's software iPhone 14 includes a troubleshooting tool that can access iTunes or Finder and let it update or restore the device. Its name is Recovery Mode, which is also useful if your iPhone 14 won't charge or turn on. Open a PC or Mac that is running its latest version. Then, launch iTunes or Finder that is running its latest version. Apply a cable to connect your iPhone 14 to the machine. Now, let your device go into recovery mode, which is the same for all iPhone 14 series like iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds. Keep holding the power button even when you see the Apple logo screen. When you see a computer, a USB cable, and a link showing up on a black screen, release the power button. It's a recovery mode screen. Just repeat the steps to enter again if you fail. Once done, go to your computer. 
Now, iTunes or Finder on your computer can quickly connect to an iPhone in recovery mode. A message dialog box should have popped up. Just like this. Choose the update option. Finish the products that follow. When finished, it'll automatically start downloading the latest iOS software. You can see the download icon on the top right corner is active and circling. Wait and you can click the download icon to see the status of the procedure. After around an hour or two, the process should be completed. Charge your iPhone 14 with the wall outlet. If the battery is still not charging, repeat the steps and restore your device by deleting everything on it. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 14 that won't charge properly at all. If you find this video helps, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.